hello and welcome back to the channel my name is Yudi and I go by Yudi on the glow here and on my other social media platforms so make sure you subscribe to me here and follow me there here on my channel i like to share with you guys how i style myself my home my travels and more now as a disclaimer i wouldn't say i'm a minimalist and i wouldn't say this is like a capsule wardrobe but it's somewhere nearby so i'll be sharing with you guys some basic staple pieces that are really the backbone of my wardrobe and how i put looks together so we won't really touch on any statement pieces or anything like that we're just down to basics today. So jumping right in, we're gonna just start with tops overall. I live in button down shirts because they are so versatile to me. You can button them up, you can turn into a crop top, you can make a little ruching action happen like a Jacques Mousse shirt. It's a lot you can do with a button down. So my absolute basics of button downs that I have to have is a white, a beige, something black, and maybe another color you can throw in. A soft blue like I'm wearing today always goes with a lot of things. So those are my basics. Now after your button downs, I think it's helpful to have a handful of sleeveless tops, whether it's a camisole, spaghetti strap, an asymmetrical one shoulder, something, something in that realm. So for me, I have a camisole satin top with cow neck draping. And I also have a couple mock neck bodysuits that really cover everything for me. To get your basics out the way, it's great to have one in white and black. When it comes to the satin camisoles, I really do enjoy the one from River Island. I usually get my River Island pieces from ASOS, so that's where I get them. Now the other piece I have are corduroy shorts. This is kind of like an exception and it's very specific to my style, but I do love having cord button up shirts just because I wear them throughout the year. I have them in multiple colors. I sometimes just toss them on in place with a sweater. The colder months, I wear them as is, but for me personally, I have a bunch of them in a bunch of colors, but I wear them often. So it works for my wardrobe. It's a staple piece for me. It might not be for everybody. Once you have the first two, your basic button down in your sleeveless tops in a white and a black, you can also toss in stripes or patterns, whatever fits your wardrobe and you can wear with multiple things is really the goal here and whatever suits your style. I feel like those are pretty good universal basic pieces to start off. Your white, your black, maybe one other color that goes with multiple things, maybe a stripe or pattern that's not too much that you can fit with multiple items. So yeah. So moving on to outerwear, I now have dad blazers. From my thrifting video, someone told me the exact pattern of the wool dad blazer that I have. And I'm so happy that she did because I feel like I probably never would have known the exact name of it. But anyway, I have a dad blazer in a Glen pattern. For that jacket, again, it's something that you can toss on. If you're going somewhere that it might be a little bit cold, you don't want to wear a basic sweater, throw on your blazer. Another good piece to have is a good basic cardigan i have a cream long line cardigan that i actually like wearing where i travel it keeps you warm it does this thing so having one or both the dad blazer or the cardigan i feel like will get you through the summer as far as your basics go the blazer and the cardigan i have are more on the neutral side but they're just great to have when you're in the airport when you're traveling when you're in the office space or you're somewhere where the temperature might drop you just have something to toss on your shoulder so it's great to have those now moving on to bottoms from my spring summer essentials you have to have a nice pair of shorts i'm gonna focus in on tailored shorts and comfortable shorts shorts i think these are nice to have in lighter colors like white and beige because you can just toss anything on it and it'll still give you a light feel so i'll insert some pictures of some of the looks i've done with that now when it comes to pants these are more so year round but for me but i mean i think it's good to have a pair of tailored black pants and off-white pants something that fits you to a t straight leg wide leg flare whatever fits your body type the best it's good to have one in white or off-white and black when it comes to jeans i do like my high-waisted mom jeans for a more casual look so something in a flat blue wash denim and when i say flat i mean something that doesn't have fading because fading doesn't always work for me and with that have another pair in black another basic for me in the denim department are straight leg jeans these will hit especially with a nice heel it's going to give you a clean cut look same thing here having a nice blue wash and having an all black pair is going to have you covered and it's actually going to have you covered throughout the year now another thing for the summer of course you want to have skirts if that's your thing i'm not really a skirts person <laughs> i don't wear skirts often so i have to remind myself to wear them but if you're someone who wears skirts have a nice satin and midi skirt in your closet that's going to have you covered again whether it's black cream it's going to do what it needs to do but for me just for versatility since i know i don't gravitate towards skirts as often 
I would go the route of swapping that for a satin dress. With that, I can always put a shirt over it, I can put a sweater over it and kind of change up the look. And I have that much more versatility than just having a skirt that I know I probably won't wear as often. So with these, nothing is really set in stone. These are just what I do. These are the foundation pieces that I wear. And with this, you just have to be for real. Like, be real with yourself of what you wear, what you don't wear. If you are not a shorts person, you can push yourself to wear them, but if you know you're not gonna wear them, that's probably a department where you don't need to have multiple pairs, maybe just have a couple, you know, get your feet wet. So now that we're in the department of dresses, I mentioned a satin dress, whether it be a midi, maxi, or medaxi dress, it is good to have one in your closet. I feel like you'll get the most wear out of having something in black. You can wear that throughout the day, transition it to night, cocktail evening, you have your dress, and you can add your small details depending on where you are, whether you put a scarf on it, dress it down with a denim jacket, with a sweater, any of those items is gonna work. So I think everyone should have a black midi or maxi dress, especially in a satin finish to really just get the job done. Another style of dress that is specific to me, I do like the look of small dresses and shirt dresses. It's just something to throw on and go about your business. For a real cute casual look and you want the legs out, I do like the look of small dresses on me. So those would be a summer essential for me. But this next one is kind of a mix up. But one thing about me, I love a good set because you don't have to do any thinking. You just put it on so having a couple coordinate sets will definitely get you through the summer i think it's nice to have one that's a full color maybe a all black one you can do multiple things with that and then have one that's an out there bright color or a print it's definitely going to give you summer vibe and with that you have two pieces that you can work into your wardrobe in different areas where it separates so it's a lot of bang for your buck in my opinion now when it comes to bags i have really realized that i enjoy a nice medium bag and what i mean by medium Medium, I don't want a micro bag that nothing can fit in and I realized I don't necessarily like those medium bags because sometimes I just want to get up and go and I don't have enough to fill it up so with my medium size I want something that can fit my phone keys wallet maybe a lip gloss maybe something else but I want to be in and out good to go like quick quick I don't want to have this big bag lugging me down so with medium bags I feel like they're very easy to transition from day to night they're not too big they're not too bulky with those that I like to have something in black, black goes with everything, a color that I know I'm gonna be wearing often throughout the summer that works with a lot of my items. For me, I have my Jacques Mousse bag that's in the khaki color. So that works for a lot of things. And also something in a natural material works, like something that has like a straw or woven pattern that also gives me summer spring vibe. The other style of bag that I think is great for the summer are tote bags. So I realized I start to like tote bags as if clothes. Cause by the time I'm holding the tote, I wanna be able to hold my laptop, my iPad, or whatever the case may be. I wanna just toss stuff in it and be secured. So I realized early on as I'm starting my collection, a lot of designer totes do not zip close. So that means I don't want a lot of designer totes. The one exception I do have is I have a canvas tote that I got from ASOS. Remember it was on my mind, I kept seeing and I couldn't really justify why I wanted it. Then it clicked to me around the time that I was seeing this bag, I got it from Hilo Luck. So I mainly followed her on Instagram, but it wasn't until later I started watching her YouTube. Around when I started watching her channel, she had a lot of travel vlogs. She enjoyed traveling with the Saint Laurent Rive Gouch, Rive Gouch bag. It took me a second to actually click that the ASOS bag that I saw was a dupe for that bag. Regardless, I feel like that is a staple piece for me in the summer, just because the color palette of the cream and the black goes with a handful of what I'm already gonna be wearing. So I really do like that tote bag. That bag is an essential for me. Now, when it comes to shoes, again, we are all about comfort. I think across the board, what's gonna have you covered is having a black, a nude or flesh tone, and a metal in an open toe sandal. That's gonna have you covered throughout the year. You can toss in another color if you want, but again, these are just the basics. I also think it's nice to have a nice minimal sandal, something that you can wear for errands, something you can wear checking your mail, something you can wear to a day party, grab drinks, you're comfortable. So in this category, I really like Birkenstocks or Birkenstock style shoes, especially in the all black or neutral color. That has me covered, I'm comfortable, and I don't feel entirely dressed down. The same goes for a platform sandal, like the flip-flops that have a little platform to them. It's gonna look a little bit more elevated than just a plain old flip-flop or sandal. So, yes. And then last in this category is having a good sneaker. So, 
I know not everyone is a sneaker person, but there are so many options. You can go the style of like the traditional Vans look and keep it very basic. You can go a Keds look or you can go to a dad sneaker look. So for me, para mi, the most versatile in my closet are a white pair of platform Keds that I have. So I think having a white sneaker is going to cover a lot of things for you. Then you can add a color or something else, whatever you may think is missing, whether it be for something casual, traveling, or you know you're going to be walking for quite a bit just get the white sneaker whatever fits your style whether it be the vans classic look a slip-on sneaker dad whatever works best for your style now when it comes to jewelry it's nice to have your signature pieces like your signature necklace i always have my name tag on my casio watch is my signature wristwear it's also a nice conversation starter so i love it and it just speaks to my style and another thing when it comes to earrings you're either going to catch me in a wide hoop or a chunky gold ear those are my go-to's so figure out what your go-to's are and also the summer is the time of the anklet because why not get you a nice little anklet and it gives like a little bit of eye candy whatever shoe setup you have on whether you have on sneakers sandals heels mules get you an anklet it's gonna give you a little extra something and my last category is for hats for the summer, you're gonna need you a straw hat. And if you don't need it for the summer, you're gonna need it for vacation, you're gonna need it for spring. Get you a nice straw hat, whether it's obnoxiously big and oversized, get you something that works for you because you'll be able to wear it year after year. And another hat you can get is a fun hat, is what I wanna call it. So whether it's a baseball cap, a visor, or a bucket hat, for me, my fun hat are bucket hats. I love the look of those. So in the summer, you don't catch me in a bucket hat, you're gonna catch me in a visor. But something fun, I have a bucket hat in black and I also have one in this tie-dye green color. They're fun and easy to toss on, so have your fun hat. So in terms of where to find these pieces, I'm gonna say start low and work your way up. When it comes to the button downs, the blazers, definitely start in the men's section of a Goodwill, a thrift store. That's where you're gonna get the most bang for your buck. They really, really focus on the men's section for those pieces. So when it comes to some of these other pieces, a lot of these I've had for many, many years, like since high school. So I have like a lot of Forever 21 and H&M. A lot of them are still holding up. Some of them I'm growing out of. So I feel like I'm kind of transitioning the places I shop to. One of the things I love about ASOS is that it gives me access to so many brands that aren't as easy to get here in the US. So like River Island, Mango, Monkey, Naked and AKD. Those kind of brands. So I feel like I want to expand to more of those. Like I'm not going to hold you. H&M having a good sale, I'm going to be in that. <laughs> I would be in that because when H&M wants their stuff gone, they want their stuff gone. And I found some great pieces there, but I feel like I'm transitioning to where I want to try different brands that I haven't tried before. But if you have any affordable range recommendations or suggestions, please leave those down in the comments down below so I can like look at some new places. So to wrap this up, I didn't want this video to be too long, but those are some of the foundational backbone pieces of my wardrobe. So we're not really talking about statement pieces and standout pieces here. This is more so like your basic pieces that you can just throw together. These are pieces that I can always depend on when I have nothing to wear, I start here. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any other suggestions, or things that I missed out. I know I didn't cover everything. Please leave them down in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and going ahead and telling a friend to tell a friend like telephone to also come and join the fun. I'll make sure to leave a couple of my videos here on the screen. But that is all I have for today. So until next time, bye guys. I can't even see what I'm doing. I'm trying to get myself together. <laughs> this is very very unserious this up here is curl very very unserious bro i can't see nothing it's gonna have to do sometimes if you don't be to the front be to the front i can't see if my hair is doing what it's supposed to be doing i want to put the bedies on the floor i don't think it's doing what it needs to do anyway let's just get started hello